Iran Vikramaratna, the Deputy Minister of Highways, Higher Education and Investment Promotion, says that information on, in on individuals who committed acts of fraud and corruption during the past at the Colombo Stock Exchange will be revealed in the future. He made this comment speaking to reporters today. Meanwhile, several other views were also expressed on the Colombo Stock Exchange. <laughs> The issue at the Colombo Stock Exchange is a serious one. Small portions of money were skimmed over a period of time. Take a look at the EPF. Money from it was skimmed. How did we come to know of that? The chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission made attempts to look into it. When the chairman of the SEC, Indrani Sukutadasa, made attempts to do so, she was removed from her position. Then Tilak Karunaratna was appointed. Within nine months of his appointment, he too was removed. So in nine months, two SEC chairpersons were removed. In no country have the chairpersons of the SEC been removed like this. Why was it done? To cover up what they had done. What have we done? We have appointed Tilak Karunaratna as a chairman of the SEC again. Now it is up to them. It is not in the government's hands. We only have to create the framework. We will not exert any pressure on them. They will take their time and do their work. Within weeks, we will be able to know who is wrong and who will be subject to questioning and who will be taken before courts. <laughs> They have contributed to the collapse of the economy. They have taken shares not included in the Colombo Stock Exchange and incurred losses. What we can do is add a definitive value to it and suspend the sale of these stocks. We will look into this in a proper manner. We will look as to who instructed for this to take place. We will inquire as to who assassinated the country's economy. Now we can see a growth in the economy. What we need is to protect the primary dealers. The current status needs to be improved in the stock exchange. Through that, we need to direct the funds to the public. The money that only reached the families of one or two persons needs to be given to all the people. During the previous government, stealing was legalized. Today, we have to look into that. During the past, we noticed that a large number of international loans were obtained. The inquiries are taking place. The people gave us a mandate to put a stop to the destruction that had taken place with the issues surrounding the Colombo Stock Exchange. Information has come to light that irregularities have taken place at the CSC in 2010, 2011 and 2012. The Securities and Exchange Commission launches investigations into the Kalpitiya Beach Resort IPO amounting to Rs 283 million. Share price of Reef Combo or Citrus Leisure PLC warrants drops to 10 cents. Share prices of Lanka Hospital's PLC significantly spike on the 17th of August 2011. Shouldn't a proper investigation be carried out to determine if insider trading, market manipulation, front running has occurred at the CSE? Does this not warrant an extensive investigation?